the blue goblin player Sauron versus the red man of the West player Avi Havi. Okay, so the farm health has 1900, the tunnel has only 1000. You can see destroying a tunnel should be way easier compared to a farm. But the amount of HP doesn't really mean too much because you can still destroy this in a few seconds, right? Maybe you need like two more seconds to destroy it. I think the armor set is what is important in the bonus damage the units are dealing to these farms. That's what's, what's important because I think can I, for example, 50,000 in health, but it, it might have like minus 100 armor versus swordman and you can still destroy it quite easily. The health is not determining the strength and the tankiness of a structure or a hero. Do you know my faction? No. Elves? I mean, he's not scouting with the human wood. Four tunnels for goblins, and we see one farm, two farm, and offensive barracks for men. Links again. Um, let me check. Um, not yet, but he's gonna build the fissure. Okay, no links. There's some trolls. <laughs> trolls. Who let the trolls out? I heard your faction, but I'm playing like I didn't. Oh, cheating. Listening to the sleep. Okay, I will give you more information. Sauron, Kappa. He's going for tower guards. <laughs> Listen to me. He is going for tower guards. They will counter you. Your trolls. Don't go for tower guards. Don't go for trolls. It's gonna creep this, I think. The works here in this game, they can also trample. Watch this, watch, watch this. Watch how hard it is to creep this. I mean, it's easy for pikemen because when they trample, you also deal damage to them. But a swordman can never creep this one-on-one. -on -one. Like a, a soldier from men can never creep this alone. There is no way. Pikes, of course, dealing revenge damage when they get trampled. The damage to tower guards, look at them. Boom, boom. Bam, boom. The day may come. When the courage of men fails, when we forsake our friends and break all bonds of fellowship, but it is not this day. This day we fight. By all that you hold dear on this good earth, I bid you stand, <gasps> men of the Guys, West. let me show you something. Watch this, please. Do you see this column health? Do you see this column health? No, it's not 120, nor is it 1,200. It's 12,000. Okay. 12,000 health. Gollum, a fortress has 7,500 health. Just so you know. This looks cool, actually. This looks more realistic. With the tree in his hands. Boom, slap. Slap. Can you slap them too? Let's see. I think you have more range when you do this with the tree. Yeah, you can slap them too. Slap them. Boom, slap. But he's gonna die now, no? I don't, I don't like these new images. It's my opinion. I mean, you like it, but I don't like it that much. Like, these images, they don't fit the trolls. They are not looking beef me style, you know, these images. Okay. He was able to defend himself. Only lost one tunnel. He's gonna lose the second one. Troll might not be able to defend this. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, he will be able to defend this. That's pretty good. So if the goblin player can somehow manage to destroy the barracks, it will actually buy him so much time. The man player in the meantime going for the archer range, of course, to counter the enemy cave trolls. He's also creeping the troll there with the tower guards, which will be done. Also, this is a beautiful looking building, man. This, the Forsaken Inn. So it's like a new skin for the inn. Looks pretty nice. Fits also to the team of this map. Looks pretty decent. Also same here around the bottom side. So as you can see, the texturing of this map, like multiple textures just to make it look good. I'm assuming it would take eventually like maybe 25 hours to make a map like this until you can get done with it, you know? It's very time consuming. Okay, creep secured by the tower guards, no problem. The money will be taken. Um, we see fissure level two now for the half troll pikeman in one goblin cave. So, um, no spider pit yet. Remember, the rubbles, I mean the building, when you destroy the goblin building, they will leave a rubble, which will rebuild itself over time. I don't know how much time it will actually take, but I know that even when you lose a level 3 building, the rebuilt building from the rubble will be still only level 1. 
it won't be level 3. So it's not gonna replace the building you lost with all the stats. It will just make a new building, like when you build it for the first time, you know? Okay, he's diving in. I will represent the men of Gondor. Aragorn, thanks for the follow, appreciate it. Use your sword. Oh, he's diving too, die too much. He took too much damage from Tower Guards. He's gonna call it. <laughs> he's gonna say GG. Rest in peace. Yeah. Tower Guards. Thank you, boys. You have no Rohan Spearman in this game, by the way. You can only recruit Tower Guards. That's your only Pikeman you have. Uh, but no Rohan Spearman. Again, the difference between Beef Mitchell and Rise of the Witch King is not only the extra faction, but also in Rise of the Witch King, each faction has more units. For example, the Goblins in this game have no Ezog. Right? They can't recruit Ezog. They can only recruit Gorkil, the Goblin King, Shilop, and Drogov. These are the three heroes you can recruit. And man faction has no Knights of the Lamrov, for example. You don't have this. You have no Rohan Spearman. Right? Which game is that? Rise of the Witch King, new patch, give me 2 Edine. It's give me 2, the patch 1.09 version 3. Look, Tower Guard. Oh, he's, he managed to get to the back line. Slap! Slap them. I think he's too slow. But when they get level 3, 6 or 9, they get additional movement speed. Slap them. You, the thing is, you can't eat, right? You can't eat. Research at treasure truth to enable this equipment. So you can make them even tankier, but you can't eat to heal. You can only pick up a goblin and throw the goblin. The eating and healing ability only applies on the mountain trolls from the Mordor faction. They can do this, but goblins, he can't. Okay. Um... Human wood will be used, but goblins can cover this with Tainted Land if they want to. It's a possibility. He's going to choose it and use it, I think. Use it now. Yeah. The Hobbits from the Shire. Okay, so we have the gang boys. We have here the Peregrine Took. Yes, the fire pit just for the for the New Year's Eve special event. Uh, Field of Galadriel for Frodo Baggins. And here we have also Samwise. Mary just died. Where is Samwise? For Gamgee when we need him. I think he died too. I don't see him. Hobbits are very vulnerable against anything. <laughs> they get one-shotted by goblins. Uh, but they are also dealing great amount of damage to the buildings too, by the way. Not bad. Yeah, these images, they don't fit well. <laughs> if I'm being honest with you. Like, the scavenge armor doesn't fit well as well, in my opinion. Like, it's new. It doesn't look very good. Like, it doesn't fit the forge blades and banner team that much. In these troll images, they are not looking very good either. He's saying, please. Oh, he was able to survive. And he's level 4, by the way. Again, keep that in mind that he now moves 4th person faster. I like the scaling abilities. So basically, that you can now move a bit faster. That each level is more rewarding. Remember in, game, in this game, each level gives you more damage and armor and health, for example. But in BVM2 especially, it also gives you more movement speed. It's a great way of scaling levels. So it's more rewarding to keep your units alive throughout the entire game. Because when you get this dude to level 9, you will be able to move 3 times 4 person faster. Which, by the way, is a multiple, it's a percentage, right? So 4% at level 3 is not as much as 4% at level 6. Because you always move 4% of the current speed. More, more, more. So with level 9, you basically would be zooming around with the cave trolls. Not even kidding. It's math, you know? I mean, also different skins, as you can see. This is like a brown, it's like a black, and this is like a white. Three different skins for the same unit. Amazing. Amazing. Looks nice. And what I like also about this is that they kind of kept the house colors. That's the main reason why I don't like the mods. Like, I don't like the mods because they are looking like a black and white. They have, like, no house colors. You can tell in a multiplayer game who is who, is who you know. You can tell this visually when you look at a unit. In, in this game, look, they have, you know, depend doesn't matter on the, on, the, on the skin they are using. They have always the blue pants. So you can always see the color of the chosen color from the player in every single unit. And I think that's very important. It's more color and more soul to the game i don't like the mods because of that reason they are all looking the same black and white no house colors
Ok, more Goblin Warriors And the barracks is gonna be destroyed now, that's good Maybe that's a comeback for the Goblins though, let's see The man player went For Archer Reach level 1, Stable level 2 And barracks level 1 I think there is no need to get barracks level 2 To be honest with you Because the rewarding is not that big You get 10% more speed Man, you know, it's not It's not very important like, how, what is this? You know, like, three seconds, maybe? The, the troll which nine heroes were trying to kill in the movie one. Uh, Actually, yeah, true. Think about this, you know? Like, uh, trolls are supposed to be strong, man. Like, I, uh, me as a Beef Me One player, <laughs> I know trolls in Beef Me One are smashing. With leadership, they can kill any hero in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Like, if a troll has leadership from Drummer Troll, I of Sauron, Darkness, and Witch King, he can one-shot Ganalf, he can one-shot anything, anybody. Anybody can be one-shotted from a troll. But in Rise of the Witch King or in Beefy Me 2 also, here they are a bit more tanky, but in Rise of the Witch King, a, a pikeman can one-shot the troll, like one-shot. One archer can one-shot the troll. Elma can kill the troll one-on-one. -on -one. There is no way in, a, in, a, in the films that Elma would be able to kill a troll one-on-one. -on one-on-one, -one, one straight, straight up battle, you can't win. You can't win. Not even Aragorn could kill a troll in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Okay, the Rohirrim are able to kill him though. <laughs> That's odd. But there are too many Rohirrim. And Rohirrim are an exception to the rule because they've even killed Mumu kills in the films. Theorin King stands alone. Slap. Plus 10 for Scavenger. Heal is going to be used from the man player. And look at the minimap. So we have 450 command points for goblins and up to 1000 command points for men. Man is definitely dominating this game. And not today, Samit Koko. Not today, my friend. In the new year, we will have a two-week tournament. But I will not play myself, I'm assuming. I will actually organize the event and commentate and cast uh, other than playing myself. But I'm not sure yet. Maybe I will I will play. What's happening to Sauron? Sauron is actually destroyed, you know? I think Ave is Frodo Baggins. He was able to get to the One Ring. He was able to throw it into the Mount Doom. That's what happened to Sauron. He lost all his strength. Of it. The last stand of the Goblin Town. Down, down to Goblin Town. Down, down to Goblin Town. Okay, so can the goblins still turn turn this game around? The Christmas miracle is to happen. Okay, this is the only way. It's, it's the only way goblins can turn this game around. At this point. I mean, the thing is, in 1.09 version 2 and 3, all the evil factions have access to heal. So they have also the heal from the spellbook, just like the good factions, to heal their units. Theorian is level 1. You need to be level 6 or 7 for the glorious charge. Become immune to declarate by trampling. Cavalry also become fearless for its duration. Theorian must be mounted to use ability. To use this ability, I think. Okay. Does he have armor on them? No, it looks like they have armor, no? The Rohirrim shields, they are looking like they have armor. Because some of them have it and some of them don't. They have horseman shields. And they don't. How did they get horseman shields though? Do they get it when they get level 2? I think so. I think when they get level 2, they can get horseman shields. 11 power points for the goblins. I mean, he's getting money from the scavenger. That's good, but is this gonna be enough? I wanna get. I wanna see. <laughs> I wanna see Galadriel, dude. Boromir, the captain of Gondor. Avi, when you are listening, please find Gollum. Kill the Gollum. You have lots of money and time. Uh, recruit Galadriel. It would be amazing. It's Friday, my friend. It's Friday. Tomorrow is New Year's Eve. You know, it's Rise of the... No, it's, it's not Rise of the Witch King. It's Beef Me too. Fox Boy. Beef Me too, my friends. The farm here is going to be destroyed. No, it's going to be saved. The Knights of Gondor are just in time.
I mean, what is he? What is he planning to do, though? The man player. That's a very, very <laughs> legit question. He feels kind of poor, even though he has one thousand command points. Like, where is the money at? I'm, I'm wondering this. Okay, Grand Harvest coming in clutch. Oh, Gandalf coming. Okay, that's what it is. All right. But this Gandalf is a bit different than the Gandalf from Rise of the Witch King, dude. I want to see this. Uh oh. Oh, look at this animation, first of all. There comes Mifrandia. Okay, now you might see, but Shanks, this Gandalf is looking the same, like in Rise of the Witch King. Now, I want you to pay attention to his levels. If this guy blasts one time, he will get from level 1 all the way to level 4 in a second. And that will give him the chance to mount on his Shadow Fax. Which, by the way, you can do this in level with level 3 in this game. Um, these icons are looking nice. I like this Visa Plus icon. The Shadow Fax icon looks pretty nice. History is pretty much the same. In War of Power, uh, animation looks also epic in this game. Epic. Okay, so when you cover the mouse over him, as you can see, um, he also gives you, lead, uh, when you are level Gun of the White with level 5, your abilities will deal 100% more damage and cooldowns are reduced by 20%. So, information that were not able to, that was not able to fit in here, they actually added to the Palantir picture. So when you go with your mouse over a certain unit, it will give you more information, if there is any. Do it. Boom! You see? That's what I'm talking about! From level 1 to level 4 with one single blast. In Rise of the Witch, you will get maximum level 2 there, 100%. And the Wombo combo is very important here. The Horn of Gondor, you stun them, Boromir. I kill them, Boromir. The dream combo. The captain and the magician, the wizard. And he's burning them all. And he's all about to hit level 5. Again, a huge and massive power spike. The second he gets level 5, he also changes his model and skin. He will become Gandalf the White officially. And that all of this stuff will deal 100% more damage. He's also quite tanky. has 4,500 HP. Do it. Where is the, where is the Frodo, man? And not Frodo. I want to see Gollum. And I, wanna, I, wanna, I want the Gollum to get killed. I've seen Gollum before. He, there, is, there he is. Look, he's hiding there. Look, he's a sneaky dude. You need to kill him somehow. 12,000 HP. But then, guys, I would... I, did, did you guys see yet? Uh, see, did you guys see yet the ring uh, heroes in Div Me 2? 1.09? If, if not, you have to see it, man. It's crazy. Like, uh, it's, it's mind-blowing. A Galadriel can summon multiple eagles, for example. A Sauron it can summon two Balrogs. It's kind of crazy. All about hit level 5. One more blast, I think, and you are there. Let's see. Blast them. Oh, but he's running into the pikemen. They have porcupine, porcupine formation damage, I think. The revenge damage here. He has 22 power points in the bank. What is he saving for? Is he looking for Gollum? Not, he's not there, man. He's... Keep running to the other... There. <laughs> tell him, tell him Falcon, where, he, where the where Gollum is. He's here. Do you have money for it? You have 2,500, so you should be, you could be getting him or her. Galadriel. Plus, 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 plus. He's feeding now lots of money, though, to the goblins. Oh, Wipeman of Talent into the War Chan Summon. Okay. Marketplace. Tom Bombadil will be summoned defensively, but the um, farm level 3 is getting melted. Literally in a second. There comes the sun, the cloud prick. The sun is rising. The sun gives you, um, first of all, it cancels freezing rain, darkness, cloud break, um, and stuns enemies for 10 seconds, heals and re uh, revives allied units for 15 seconds, enemy trolls are turned into stone for 20 seconds. Where are the trolls at? He doesn't have any trolls, but if, they, if there would be any trolls, they would turn into stones. Or some new, like a new design, that is like a special design, just to be stoned. You know, in a, in a, in a stunt way, not stunt way. Blast them. Gandalf, it's your time to shine, my friend. Do it, Bifrandia! Boom! He did only blast two units, but still got almost a whole level, a half a level. Boromir didn't stun. You need to coordinate this. Bombo combo. Stun, blast, stun, blast, stun, blast. That's the bomb bombo combo you are looking for. And he's all about to level five. That might be the ending of this game. He has level 9 Goblin Arches, by the way. Level 9. Something you don't see very often. Level 3 Tunnel. I think that's the last one remaining on, on, the, on the field. Will be destroyed next. Eisengasm, my friend. What's up? 
welcome to the screen. Since I always watch you, your your YouTube at 1.25 speed in stream feels so weird. Really? You are watching in 1.25 speed? Me? You are watching me in 2.5? That's crazy, man. Because I think I'm a person who doesn't speak slowly. I'm fast talker. How can you understand anything what I'm saying? Oh, look, guys. Gandalf the White. He's looking so, so handsome, man. Amazing. 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 The sounds though. <laughs> Blast them. Get enough. Do it. Do it, my friend. Ooh. Sit down. You need to be level 7 for the Easter Delight. I think that chunks heroes too in this game. Not sure though. He's gonna use heal to keep this dude healthy. And the man player is up to 25 power points now. Okay. I'm pretty good, player. thank you. How about you? I hope you're having a good... My, my day was phenomenal today. Actually, it was a really good day. Also for the work and stuff. And uh, we were kind of, you know, preparing everything for tomorrow's evening. Me, my family, my cousins, my aunt, my mom, my wife, and uh, my, child, my, my children. We will be actually meeting in, a, in like, a, like a club. Not like a club, but like we will rent it for the, for the entire day tomorrow. Meet around 7 to 8 p.m. evening. Eat something. Celebrate the New Year's Eve. Have some music. It's gonna be a nice day tomorrow for me. I'm excited for this one. 